Greetings everyone. Today is March 17th of 23. Hello everyone. Today's video will be a tour of my Figro room. Two months, 60 days roughly since I've turned my lights on. And for those of you who are watching my channel for the first time, this is a room that I built about three years ago in order to give my fig trees a head start, which is an extension of a growing season and I'm in Michigan zone 6A. In order for me to uh, ripen fruits of uh, late ripening varieties, I need to give my trees a head start and this is my method of doing so. So if you have a desire to maybe um, give a head start to, for your trees and build a smaller room or maybe even this size or bigger, maybe a tent, this will be maybe an example of what your trees, at what stage they will be two months after uh, the lights were turned on. And mind you, your results might differ depending on uh, what uh, lighting do you use and temperature and many other uh, reasons. But now I'm going to just uh, say first a few words about my trees. Uh, prior from bringing them here, this is in my basement. They stayed for about two months outside. Um, one month and then inside of my shed next to a garage which I had a heater on a thermostat. Uh, coldest temperature um, this winter was about 4 degrees so my thermostat was set at about 25 degrees Fahrenheit and the uh, trees all survived just perfectly and uh, roughly at the end of the year around December 20 let's say 6, 7th I started bringing my trees indoor here first two and a half weeks without lights so they can get accustomed to the uh, temperature and humidity and then I noticed the swelling of the buds and I turned my lights on January 17th. So now let me just take you inside and I will take also my camera off the tripod so sorry if you notice any shaking. And I will start with these three young plants here. These are Black Madeira FMV Free from Profig. And they are growing very, very well. You can see the trunks are already getting thicker and becoming now lignified. No signs of FMV, of course. And this is now the look of my trees. All of these trees there are on this side right there. These are taller trees that I still have to air layer. Have to find time for that. And now on this side, you can notice that my trees now are looking differently. I had to prune all of these. It took me about two days to do so. What I did was uh, cut the branches in half or sometimes even more. And here you can see I left uh, one, two, and then three nodes, depending on uh, internodes, how big they are, how they are, how long they are. Sometimes uh, this is the same tree. I left uh, one, two, three, four, five. And pretty much at every internode now, uh, every axil of the petiole and the branch, you're going to see now a small fruitlet that starts as a bump and two bumps indicates that you will have a main crop or perhaps a breba if it was earlier but you can see now a small figlet right there and this was a really great observation by whoever figured this out first two bumps sometimes you're gonna see even three bumps that can indicate maybe uh, two fruits at, a, at the same spot and I will show you also at the ground level a change. You can see now that it looks more white everywhere. And what I did was I brought those bags up and pulled the strings so they kept them fairly closed. And this is to prevent excess evaporation. My dehumidifier was collecting about eight gallons of water. And now I'm thinking probably gallon and a half to two gallons less and by the way the humidity currently is 46 percent and it's 70 degrees it was a little bit warmer but i have my window 
open right there partially and another one on the other side every day I ventilate this room to have fresh air and now I'm gonna just quickly show you some plants that have uh, maybe fruit and this is Borges uh, Gris really large breba right there looking great I think I mentioned in one of the videos that all of the black Madeira types have dropped their breba this is Vasilica Sica with the breba also most of the trees they're looking great healthy no signs of FMB but some branches even on the same tree you're gonna see that they have uh, signs especially like this of FMV and uh, some of the leaves I did take and look under the microscope I could not find any uh, mites so these are probably FMV that was already in a system I'm just trying to see if I can spot any interesting plant this is called Adama Blanc and called the Dama Blanc had uh, Breba. Now this Breba is getting softer, so it will drop. However, it already has main crop set. And then another one here is uh, Craven's Craven with main crop. Nice figlet right there. Another one that's holding Breba is Galicia Negra. This is unknown pestilier. Unfortunately, I don't have a caprific to pollinate this year. Italian 258, Black Tuscan, they all have a nice amount of uh, main crop, already small figlets. And uh, I'm going to show you now the leaves. The leaves now they are more mature, they are now thicker, more sandpapery looking great and I like the color when I see the dark leaf like that that means that the uh, uh, nutrition is adequate so they are growing properly another variety here underneath this is Ventura and uh, it had a nice uh, breba that I had removed most of but still has plenty on a tree Again, an example is this uh, Bass's favorite fig. I expect a lot from this variety. You're going to see this branch that's completely healthy and then other branch that has FMV. So sometimes I do remove branches if possible and leave the branch, uh, the one that, that is healthy, in order to reduce FMV. In this case also I can do so. We'll see. This is strawberry vert, a very vigorous variety and also has a nice breba right there. Maltese beauty, it is beautiful. I love those leaves. And it has also nice both main crop and I uh, think it has a breba right there. Yes, it's still holding that breba. Some people say Breva. I'm not sure if this is maybe a um, Spanish version of Breva, Italian. I think it's Breva. This is Panache. You can see variegation in a wood. Also has Breva. LSU Tiger looking healthy. I can't even look because it's so thick over there with foliage. I love these leaves. Look at this leaf. Single lobe leaf. I love. Um, this one looks like cabbage almost uh, almost like an open leaf and this is Adriatic JH you can see that it has a nice main crop now yeah and also it has a breba underneath this leaf this is 
Saint Rita and also has both main crop and uh, one breba right there. I'm wondering what this is. Oh, Genevieve Nero. Genevieve Nero AF has only double bumps. So a little bit behind. This is Petrovac. It has it had really a lot of breba and now they are starting to drop. They're getting softer, so they did not hold breba this year. Here are black oh no this is uh, oh this is preto also with uh, double bumps and these three are black maderas these larger trees they all be air layered i do tend to keep uh, black maderas unpruned for longer time so they can uh, get a stronger trunk this is um, craven's craven LSU Hollier it has uh, both Breba and uh, main crop. It's hard for me to focus sometimes. Okay, now you can see. This one is uh, styled or formed as a weeping fig. You can see the branches, they're elongated down. This is Craven's Craven. This is the only tree that I have that was grafted on Unknown Rimada from Steve. It is loaded also with main crop, small figlets everywhere. And you can see characteristic uh, short branches growth in this year. And a lot, a lot of main crop will be on these branches. This one is a little bit larger tree. In the back there is a CLBC with uh, one breba that still stays right there. I can even reach it, it's somewhere around there. And also in the corner, Della Reina also has a breba. That one is reaching out the ceiling, touching the ceiling, so I have to air layer as soon as possible. This is a really nice variety of Smith coming from Bansell family directly from seller disclosure. And uh, I left this tree with uh, five branches, five scaffolds, yes, uh, since it doesn't have a lot of foliage. I'm not sure if this is a characteristic of the tree, but the leaves are smaller and also that probably also makes a difference. It doesn't have a dense, dense foliage so the light can penetrate. In this case I left this as a, a bigger tree. It's going to be a nice specimen, but it is very productive too. A lot of main crops, small figlets right there on these branches. As well here on uh, Black Madeira, KK strain. Oh, let me show you this one. This is uh, Preto. And this is probably the most productive tree that I have now. It looks like a cluster of uh, grapes right there. And another branch there. And in the back too. Very productive. For this reason I do like uh, Black Madeira strains because they are more compact and I, I'm looking for more compact trees for my figro room. All right, now I'm going to show you quickly my second grow room. This is for younger plants that I have. And also, if you watch my previous video, they are looking smaller. Uh, I cleaned them up. A lot of the branches at the bottom were removed. This is Calderona. This tree will go back into the main grow, uh, grow room since uh, I really want this to grow as much as possible. And here we have less light in this corner. Some of these have uh, also Breba. This is Breba on a great black called Adama Rimada. 
called the Dhamma Siutat or Kiutat possibly. These plants all look very, very healthy. Clean leaves for the most of the plants. You can tell by the, the color of the leaves too when it's really dark color that usually indicates a healthier plant meaning that they have proper nutrition. Some of these leaves are really uh, big. What is this? Crema di Mora. The largest leaf of any variety that I have is this here, Bergen Unknown, 17 inch in width and in length pretty much. Here are some of the air layers that I had removed last year and uh, some of the rootstock that I will use for grafting. Harry's Crete that I had just pruned. It also has uh, Breva. I left this branch unpruned so I can... Oh. So this is my alarm now indicating that my video will shut off. These are my seedlings. I had also pruned these a lot. One more time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my fig grow room.